Hello, my name is Ron Lee. I'm here today with Proven Industries to go over our product installation of 2178. Today we're going to be installing it on an enclosed trailer with a two inch coupler. We're going to go over two different ways to install it. One with securing the safety chains and another without securing the safety chains. So let's go over here, take a look and we'll really see how easy it is to install. Here's the coupler lock, 2178. It consists of a puck lock and you have your outer shield and then you have your inner slide. First we'll start off with installing it without the safety chains. I'm going to remove the puck lock like so. I'm going to take the inner slide and take it out. I'm going to take it put it underneath the coupler like so. Put it in the lock position and this is something you want to look out for. This part right here you want to grab with your thumb. That's the best way to do it. Grab the outer shield slide it over. I'm keeping my hand back here to align the two pieces together. You want to make sure these tabs line up because if you have any discrepancy as far as these tabs, this will restrict the puck lock from locking in. Let's so make sure those tabs are lined up and I control these tabs by pinching the very back of the lock. Now with those tabs lined up, now you can get the shackle through it easily. Now I'm also going to do it with the safety chains. So I'm going to take it back off here. And pretty much this is moving in the same direction as installing it without the safety chains. Only thing that's different is you're taking the safety chains like so. Grab the S-hook, go around the profile of the ball. Then you grab the other safety chain S-hook. You want to do it in opposite directions. You do not want to do it like this. If you do them in the same direction, the height of it will be too high and it will not allow it to line up to the bottom of the coupler. So as you can see, I put both of them opposite directions around the profile of the ball. So now that I know I got both of them in this uh, different directions, then I'm gonna take this slack that I have right here. I'm gonna bunch it up by twirling it. I'm not gonna do this too tight because if I have it twirled up too much, it's gonna make the height of this too high and it won't lock into the bottom of the coupler. So now that I've uh, distinguished this is about as much as I want to twist it up, I'm going to put it underneath here. I'm going to apply pressure upwards. And make sure you align the piece in the back. And I hold my hand back here to hold them together. That way it aligns the tab up here in front. So now that I know they're aligned, I'm taking the puck lock, I'm installing it over the tabs. And now it allows me, because I have it aligned, turn it. Pull the key out, and now the lock is secure, and you're safe to leave it. 